Hi, I'm Patrick Nugent with IICLE. I'm here with my dear friend, Dr. Bill Glisson today. Uh, Bill is a great teacher for us, uh, author for us as well. He teaches ethics, he teaches civility for IICLE. We're very fortunate to have him as a faculty member. And I'm also very fortunate to let you know that as an added benefit to this DVD, we're gonna have a couple of questions today to address to Dr. Glisson about hypotheticals in the courtroom, about what actually happens when you're out there and you're, um, you're actually, uh, you know, uh, for lack of a better word, in the foxhole, doing your job, um, some things that might happen to you. So, Bill, let's say that you've been working closely with an associate. Let's say the associate, just for the lack of, uh, uh, for some fun, is me, okay? And we've been working on one of your cases for the last several weeks. Now, let's say that in the interim of why we've been working together, it's taken me a while to actually get up to speed on the case, and mm -hmm. that uh, my research, my writing, are a little bit behind where you thought I would be, and right. while they're good, right. Um, I'm in a situation where I'm taking a lot longer than you expected in the first place for me to actually deliver the goods to you. Mm -hmm. um, now you get a call from your client, and the client wants to look at last month's bill. Okay. His main question to you is, hey, I'm upset. I'm looking at this initial bill. I'm seeing that we're 25% over the target range of where you talked about when we initially started this, and I'm wondering what's going on here. So. Um, I guess my question to you is, is um, you know that this is because of my slow pace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so what do you say to the client? Well, first of all, you acknowledge the client's uh, complaint and you assure the client that you will take care of it and, uh, <laughs> and uh, you want to remember uh, at all times that you made, a, you made a deal with the client, you made a contract with the client, as the lawyers say. Uh, you made an offer, he accepted it, and you're 25% over that offer. That's too much. So uh, I, I would certainly give honor to the client's complaint and, uh, uh, and get back to the client as fast as you can uh, to continue that uh, honorable response to it that, and assure him or her that uh, uh, it's in good hands and you will see that uh, it's rectified. Great. Now, you've got <laughs> your associate to deal with as well. So um, now you come into my office and say, you're you know, Patrick, my, my, my cubicle, okay. and say, Patrick, uh, I've got to talk to you about mm -hmm. the situation. How do, you, how do you deal with the associate? What do you tell the associate? Um, how do you help the associate along in this particular area? You know, Pat, really what you're asking me is, is not only a, a civil question, but uh, it's a moral question. And uh, 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 what's moral uh, uh, is, uh, of course, to tell the truth. A very famous German philosopher whose name was Immanuel Kant said that uh, uh, in a, on a categorical imperative basis, he said, he said that never tell a lie to, uh, to another person, and that should be universalized. So tell, I'm going to tell you the truth, because by telling you the truth and nothing but the truth, it would further your career as an associate. It would teach you that, uh, that uh, practice in law is a business, and a business involves knowing profit and expense and, and loss and deductions, blah, blah, blah. And it's also a people's business. So you have to deal with, uh, with, with clients who from time to time have a justifiable complaint or unjustifiable that this complaint is justifiable because we had a deal and we uh, we didn't keep that deal so I would uh, ask the uh, ask, ask you Pat if you would call up the client and apologize and to assure the client what we're gonna do in this case we're gonna we're gonna discount we're gonna take away that 25 percent excess because if we insist upon that uh, uh, billing billing the client to 25 percent we may get 25 percent more money but our name is going to be bad out there in the field so we want to Further, the, the impression that the, 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 the client has of our firm and of the practice of law in general. Otherwise, he's going to be unleashed on the public saying bad things about the, you and me and the firm and the practice of law. Right. So now, so you've righted the situation with the client, but you still have the situation that is a little bit more dicey, which is mm -hmm. you've got uh, a business, you've got uh, the same problems as we all do in these complex times, putting food on the table. Um, so now you've given the discount to the client. You've still got these billable hours that are out there. Mm -hmm. Who's this going to impact? Is it going to impact you? Is it going to impact Matt or Pat, as it would be, or is it going to impact you both? Pat, it's going to impact everybody, including if I could, if you'll accept an amendment to, to your question. It's going, to, it's going to impact the public. It's going to impact other lawyers. It's going to impact other firms. Uh, everyone. Uh, it's going to impact other clients uh, and the people whom this client's going to talk to. Did you know that the, the, the law, uh, lawyer ABC uh, firm uh, uh, did this to me? And then I'm going to lose money on the on the on the deal. But but uh, it's going to impact everybody. Uh, a great philosopher, on a, a moral philosopher, once said that. Uh, <laughs> that an act is moral that produces the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Uh, so I think there's more good to come out of this than, uh, 
than uh, than bad, and it and it it can't help but impact uh, the uh, you, Pat, and it can't help but impact the uh, the profession of uh, practicing law, and it can't help but impact uh, me. It impacts a lot of people, uh, not only the uh, prime players in the uh, incivility uh, uh, challenge, but but uh, other people as well. It's the, I think the great thing about your answer too is obviously it's you know you talked about moral obligations, mm -hmm. but. Um, you're a mentor and, and a mensch in some of these cases where you're dealing, especially with probably with young associates. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore, this is the lesson learned, is the fact that number one, you reacted well to the client. Number two, um, you reacted honestly mm -hmm. uh, to the way that it would affect both of you and your business. And you set the example for uh, the associate in saying, as you go forth in your business, uh, these are roadblocks that you're going to be confronted with as well and decisions that you're going to need to make as well. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I want to thank you for being such a good boss and putting up with me as an associate. <laughs> uh, it's been uh, it's been great, and I'll try to speed up my work and uh, get you my writings uh, a Very lot quicker good. if I can we're in the We're going to make more money in the long run. Yeah, that. we will. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Bill. Okay.